All right, let's talk about this deck was rotting, right? And all this is rebuilt, but we cannot source any deck boards to finish decking it because of a shortage of materials. However, the garden is ready to harvest a few little things. So we're gonna run over there and see what is up with that. The firing, I am just out of money. So see how weeds are growing up in it? I got uh, stuff to put down, landscaping material to put down over it to keep the weeds from growing up. But right now I can't afford the rock to put on it. So it's sort of on hold. And we were gonna have family come up for the 4th of July, but they just lost their jobs. So they're not coming. So now that whole fire ring is just sort of on hold. And to the side of the fire ring right there, that's a bunch of cardboard and stuff put down just to kill the weeds. And the goal is to build like a little wooden square around it and fill that with mulch and put a picnic table there. So I'm trying to do this with natural items and as cheaply as possible, but sometimes you gotta have money. And right now I don't have that. Garden, how you do? All right, so I saw online that if you want really sweet tomatoes, that it's the acidity in the soil that gives them their acidity and that if you put baking soda around the base of them, then that'll go down in the ground and balance out the acidity. So we're gonna try that. I don't know if that's true or not. We shall see. The one, the little one that could has the first red baby cherry tomatoes. Isn't that great? These are all cherry tomato plants. Well, these two are. And that one's just full of ones that will be. And then, I'm not done yet. Y'all just wait. So here's the big tomatoes. These are yellow. And I just keep pollinating them. The flowers just keep dying and not making tomatoes one after another but you know at least we've got flowers that's a good sign but none of them are turning into tomatoes not sure why that is um looking for anything growing out of the crotches to trim and i don't see anything and then down here this one is just growing really tall but no flowers at all. This one, where it got chopped off, it's got three. So I'm beginning to think that the key to tomatoes, everyone says to prune them at the bottom, but I'm thinking prune them at the freaking top. All of the ones that got chopped off at the top started making tomatoes. I haven't heard that anywhere. So it could just be a cognitive bias at this point, but I'm going to try with this one to take some stuff off the top of it because this one made one flower and it died. So all this new growth at the top, I'm taking that off. We've got a couple of flowers trying to form here. So I'm just chopping this plant up and I'm gonna sort of leave it alone at the bottom and we're gonna see what happens to that one. The mushrooms that were growing around here, the little wood ears, they're slowly dying back. All right, let's look at the peppers. Look at this monstrosity. Thing's freaking huge, but it's still not turning red. Supposedly, these are red, but I don't see any red happening. Each plant is making one pepper. Here's another one, and here's another one. It looks like one's trying to form right there, but it's been sitting like that for weeks, so I'm not sure. Here's the little cucumber that was that I thought was going to die, but it seems to be rallying, and it's trying to make a couple of flowers. And then look at this cucumber. This is so cute. So this one I attached up here. So that's what it's doing. But y'all, I've never seen baby cucumbers. Holy crap, look how cute. He is so tiny. Oh. I'm thinking that's what a cucumber looks like as it's a baby growing. Because it's coming out of a flower. So I think it got fertilized. And this one, I don't know, maybe that's just what's on the back end of the male or the female flower. Oh, 
crap. I thought it was gonna use these little curly things and grab onto the fence. Like, why are you not doing that? <laughs> Hang on. All right, I wrapped one of the little green things behind that two by four and it's sitting on that little ledge right there. So I don't know enough about cucumbers. If any of you do, is this just the back of a, fa a male or a female flower or is that the beginning of a cucumber? I don't know. Anyway, I manually fertilize all this stuff because we just don't have flying insects. And I can't tell where any stamen are inside these to tell if any are male or female in any of these flowers. So I just try to play Cupid with all of them. So that's the state of the garden right now. I'm going to sprinkle bacon syrup at the base of the tomatoes. I have no idea how much. They didn't say how much. It was just like a little quick snippet on TikTok from a guy that's got a really big channel. All right. All right, let's get these tomatoes. Hey, little guys. Two tomatoes. Two tomatoes. Oh, the wind's blowing in the trees. Leaves make a cool sound. Okay, it's been two days, and I want to do a quick update before I go on and edit this down and upload it. Um, yesterday was solstice, and I had my live video, and like 30-something people were there. It was freaking great, and then I went to a drum circle last night, which was freaking great. Sorry for the background noise. My neighbors are having a very loud party. This is the tomato plant that I said I would cut the top off of, right, and see how it did? Well, it fell over. The bottom leaves are curling. These leaves are curling. These leaves are curling. I gotta go look up what curling means. It just doesn't seem like a happy plant. And they're supposed to be viney. So I'm gonna let this one grow along the ground. I don't know. Everybody says that's bad. But this is all about experimenting. So I'm gonna let it do its thing and just lay down it might be tired this one finally got flowers on it but also there was a tomato i didn't see the other day look and these are yellow i think no these are the black prints so they're dark like blackish colored inside we got one tomato and then right here come on right there is a little baby tomato and another baby right there. So I didn't see these, they were covered up. But up here they're curling. So definitely the next thing to look up is curling. But we've got flowers here and flowers starting here. So I purposefully didn't water that one the last time I watered. I made it go three days without water because I heard that with tomatoes, you gotta give them tough love. I don't know. Something about stressing a tomato plant makes it produce tomatoes, but you can't do that to peppers. I don't know. And uh, this one has a baby tomato there and a baby tomato right there. So those two developed in the last two days. This one's making even more tomatoes and they're getting like really huge, bigger than what a cherry tomato is supposed to be. It's gonna be about the size of a Roma tomato. Okay, I feel really bad and I apologized to the cucumber, the really big one. I kept trying to put it up here and I would come back and it would be down here. So I think that it really doesn't want to be vertical and it doesn't like the fence. So. I apologized, I harassed it for a long time and I felt bad, so I just put it along here and I'm gonna just let it grow that way. It seems to be what it would rather have. We have so many little baby cucumbers. I know now that they are baby cucumbers because this one's getting kind of large. Isn't that adorable? And isn't it cute how they grow spiky things to protect the babies from attack? So that's one and then there's these three. Anyway, there's a bunch down there, probably about 10. So yay, 
and this one is just getting bushier. It's not doing much, you know, for length, but you know, it's trying. It's got one little flower trying to pop up there and it's got one that popped up here. So um, more power to it because I swear it was near death. So yay. So this is your last update. I'll give it, what, another week maybe? And I'm gonna go look these up, these peppers, cause they're freaking bigger than my hand now and not even red. And supposedly Carmen peppers are supposed to be like that big and red. So what the hell? That, y'all were asking me about that. What I did is I fill it up with water and I, st I stuck like little tack holes down in the bottom. So water just slowly drips out of it. And I move it around the garden every day just to give extra moisture in case like I forget one day or we have an extra hot dry day All or right, something. I was coming back inside and I went over here to check and make sure that the water condensate from the condensate line from the AC was not getting anywhere close to the house and it turns out it's actually dripping right up against the foundation. So now we're gonna have to run this line out away from the house. And as I was looking at it, look, I don't know what that is, but holy crap, it is freaking cool. It's rubbery and springy. So it's clearly a bolete of some kind. I'm gonna, <laughs> oh, this is so freaking cool. I don't know my boletes very well, so I'm definitely gonna be what the hell? Like, I think these might be the edible kings. They're awfully small, but I gotta go. It's time to start learning about boletes because they always grow in the fall, you know, around Amanitas. You know, the king boletes have those really big, chunky stipes, and this doesn't. Actually, this might be the bluing. Is that turning blue? Yeah. That's a bluing bolete. I know you, there's no rule about if it turns blue, it's poisonous. Like you can't make any rules with the boletes like that, but I do believe this one is the non-edible one actually, now that I think about it. I'm, for some reason that's popping up. I've done so much research. Anyway, how freaking cool is that? Crazy. Makes me wonder if they've been coming up this whole time and I just never saw them. They were hidden under this rotten deck. All right. Anyway, I thought that was cool. Now I have another project. So it's off to the store to get PVC pipe and run that under the deck before they, we do actually source some deck boards and wind up covering it up. So I'm glad I actually thought to check that because that is just not a cool situation. Okay, now bye. <laughs>